Thank you very much guys, this is season with the Inabrew translation and we'll be having a POV Inabrew with Flight Mystic taking a win up against KT Roaster and securing their spot in the playoffs. And Africa, another 5th place confirmed. How do you feel guys? Fly? Well, today, our head coach said he really wants this win and I also did. And it's a big relief that we managed to make it happen. And missed it. Well, this is not a satisfying standings, but it's not bad because we made it to the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, both of the players look super poised in this interview because we had a very extended one tonight. So let's talk about game number three first. We had the longest game of the split past 50 minutes. So how was that game, Mystic? This one was a very important series, so we were both, both sides were really cautious, so we ended up having a very long series. And we did not know the result till the end, so I felt a lot of pressure. Yeah, especially game number three, the game was going back and forth. So when was the moment that you guys felt you guys got the game? I thought that we will be having a very easy win if I get the full item. But after uh, several team fights, I realized that this is a very close game. So yeah, I was unsure till the end. And yeah, it all came down to the um, carry potential of the AD carries. So as a bot player, how did you feel? But Silas stealing away the Nautilus ult was the only tool to reach me. So and my teammates told me they're just going to guard me. So I was keeping my eyes on Silas. And Renekton was, al was also able to zone away a, well a super fat gene in the last fight as well. And Fly, you played Braga's mid. So where did you get this inspiration? What was the plan in that pick? I mean, I always thought that Gragas is super strong. And up against us, Tobi actually played it. So after that game, I wanted to pick it and I played it because it's funny. Just for fun. And this time around, well, you played Renekton in game three, and that was a better counter into Silas, to be honest. So we wanted to ask you about the grass pick up against Silas. And in game number two, you actually had a very hard comp to kind of execute. So what was the key of your comp? Because Taman won game with Camille and Twisted Fate earlier today. Day. What was the plan for your comp? I was sleeping, <laughs> so I didn't really watch the game earlier. I mean, that's how we prepared. So I'm not really sure why our comp was questionable. So Frika had Mordecai, so Lilia said Ash Nautilus in game number two. And KT Roaster banned out a lot of AD champions to kind of target ban some of the AD champions going to the mid lane. Was that influenced? I was like, wow, why are they taking away my core, like my favorite champions? Gregor said, and Renekton was the answer to the target fence. But on the other hand, it was really good because I was able to play something new this time around. Yeah, in game number two, due to the, um, the calm difference, well, you guys are so close to giving away that game, but Fly, you were the hero to turn this fight around. Do you remember this moment? I mean, we just trusted spirit, so we were going for the smite fight and let's go like the tough guy mode. But the opponents got dragged into our side, so I was able to find many stuns. As you said, you trusted spirit. Lilia here in the LCK is 7 0, undefeated. So, what's your thought on Lilia? I have no idea. I'm not sure whether it's a good pick, but I'm not sure whether it's a bad pick at the same time. 
And Daman players in the previous interview, they said it's really irritating and annoying. Not many teams actually utilize it during the scrims, so yeah, it's really kind of difficult. So, and I'm, I'm not really sure about this champion. What about you, Fly? Well, I think it's a champion that some of the skillful players can utilize. <laughs> And after the game number three, we heard in the mic check, Spirit said, ah, the um, low park mystic is over because since we are having a remote series starting from tomorrow, is that something positive or is that something negative about playing from home? <laughs> Definitely negative. Why? Why is that? Me and, I mean, just Africa Freaks, we were having a bad result when we were playing from our team facility and that was the reason why. Mystic, in your recent interview, you said you are the best AD carry in the LCK. Do you still think the same way? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm a decent player. We're not speaking about being distant or you're the best one. I mean, if you have this losing mentality, you will not win. So you have to keep this confidence in your heart. You always have to think that you're the best player. <laughs> Fly, what about you? What's your thought on that? I mean, he's the oldest, right? <laughs> <laughs> so let's just like respect him. <laughs> okay, so the best AD carry in the LCK Mystic confirmed, and your final opponent of the regular split will be Genji, and also the potential op opponent in the playoffs. So we'll be playing them remotely from our facility. Well, if we could play here at the um, low park. <laughs> it could be better, but I mean, I'm a bit nervous about playing from home, but still we're gonna just prepare as we always did and we're gonna put on a fire on that series. What about you, Mystic? Well, the result will not affect our standings or anything, but still, we will keep working hard till the end of the regular split. This will be the end of the interview with Fly and Mystic from Africa Freak.